Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part 5 in creating a hash table project in C++. So in the last video we uh, just created the hash table itself. So right now our hash table just consists of a bunch of pointers that have the ability to point to some item that we've defined right here. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and initialize our array. So in our hash.cpp file we're going to go to our constructor right here and I'm just going to do a for loop to do this. So we're going to say for, and then we'll create a new integer variable called i, and we'll initially set that equal to zero. And then as long as i is less than the size of our table, which we've defined as the variable table size, so as long as i is less than the size of our table, we're going to go through this for loop, and at the end of the for loop, we're going to increment the integer that's stored in the variable i, uh, we're going to add one to it, so that's what increment means. And so what we want to do is I'll just go ahead and do, I'll say hash table. And we're just going to run through every index or every bucket in this hash table. And uh, we're going to do some stuff to that. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And then we're going to paste that a few times here. Just give me a second. There we go. So we're going to do that in two, and I believe I need one more. So the first one, we're going to be at uh, hash table index zero, hash table index one, all the way. We're basically going through all of the indexes or all the buckets of the hash table. And initially what we're doing is since our hash table, each of these indexes right now, they just contain a single pointer that has the ability to point to some item. We're going to make them each point to some new item by typing in hash table i equals new item. So as it runs through the for loop here, it, the first thing it's going to do is each index it gets to, it's going to have each of those pointers point to some newly created item. And then what it's going to do is it's going to kind of put some default values in for the two strings that we have. So we're just going to say that uh, name is empty. And then we'll go ahead and say that uh, the drink value is empty as well. So we're just kind of giving those some default values. And then the last thing we want to do is we're just going to make the, the next pointer inside of each, each of these new items, we're going to make that point to null or nothing basically. We're not going to make it point to anything. So what this does now is, see, in hash.h, we've kind of just got this, this table, uh, this, sorry, we've got this hash table that holds a whole bunch of item pointers. Actually, it holds 10, because that's what we've defined the variable table size to be. So it holds 10 item pointers. And now what we're doing is, as soon as it's created, it calls this constructor, and it's going to go through all of the indexes, or all of the buckets, and for each one of those, it's going to make that pointer point to a new item. And then it's going to give the name and drink values inside of that item a default value of empty. And this is actually a string. So it's just going to place the string EMPTY inside of the name and drink variable in that new item. And then it's going to make the item pointer, which we've uh, referred to as next here. Each of our items has an item pointer called next. It's going to make each of those new items next pointer point to nothing. So that's what our constructor is going to do. So anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, that's a probably a good place to stop. Um, I'll go ahead and continue working on this in part six. So stay tuned for the next part of the series. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.